welcome to finals week and currently it is 8 a.m i'm surprisingly very happy today this week is just like jam-packed and there's a lot of things to do um, both academically and also um, outside of academics i took the week off work so there's no work yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along this entire week of finals i don't think i've ever filmed finals so today um i have my first uh, law exam and it is a 24-hour exam that goes from 9 a.m um, on Monday to 9 a.m. tomorrow on Tuesday. It's like two essay question, kind of like HSC legal studies. Um, it's open book and everything, so I wouldn't say that I've studied a lot for it, but it's because there wasn't really a need to because they really give you research time with the 24 hours. So that's what I'll be doing today. downloaded the exam on my iPad and now I'm just going to be reading over the case study one time just without any like highlighting or note taking and then another again just to highlight and just really find a question because I found that last year I've done like a similar exam and I just kind of like thought that it was really time sensitive and went straight in and just instantly start answering the questions which is exactly not what they're looking for because they want you to kind of like dissect the question a little bit um so i'm gonna take time because there should be enough time i still have 24 hours to go right now it's 12 22 meaning that it's been three and a half hours since the exam was released. I've officially finished the first draft, um, question 1A. This exam has two questions. There's question 1A, 1B, and then question 2 is an essay. So I've officially finished question 1A, and I'm gonna continue. I might get some food right now because I'm really hungry. I would like to say that my progress is quite good. Not really because I've done things really quickly, but because um, I think that what I wrote for question 1A was pretty good. I think I reasoned everything quite well. I did a lot of research on both case studies from um, lectures and readings. I can't wait to actually finish this because I have so much to do. So just for a little bit of context, I have recently entered a Cantonese singing competition. Um, that's held in Sydney at the moment. I got into the finals, which is this Saturday, um, which is actually really bad timing because I have an exam this Saturday morning, this Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna have a long day on Saturday, but I hope that it's gonna be good. Um, I'm not really like sure what I want to get out of it, but I just really enjoy any performance opportunities. I mean, like doing competitions and like seeing how you compete with other people is always fun because in performances, it's very like, very altruistic, very just like casual and very friendly, which is like always good, like it's good vibes and I enjoy it. But you know, it's always nice to like see where you stand and where your skills are. And I've done that in a while, at least in like one or two years. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. After practicing for um, my competition, I went and took a nap, a 30 minute nap, and then now I'm eating. And then right after this, I'm gonna go back into doing my essay. So I'm now back in my room, currently 5.56, almost 6pm and I would like to say that I have got some done, like, so at the moment I'm like three quarters done with my part B. Yeah, I think it's going great. Um, I'm really hoping to finish like probably by 2 a.m. tonight because then if not, I would have to like go to bed at 12 and then I'll wake up at like 4 or 5 and then finish it then. Yeah, we'll have to do what we have to do. <laughs> So I finished the entire question one and I'm kind of excited because yeah, I mean <laughs> it is less than 12 hours and I have finished the first half of it and it's actually more than 50% if you think about it, it's like 70% of the work so um, right now I just have to write 
this final like short essay so it's like a 15 mark essay so like around 700 words but yeah i'm hoping to finish this by tonight before like i sleep so i can have like a normal day tomorrow um but let's see the So it's currently 12.30 and I'm going to go take a nap now. Um, I'm probably going to wake up around 4.30 or like 5 so I can do some more work like the final run before everything. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow because right now my brain is just like completely fried. I need a little short break before I can do that again. Six and a half hours later. It's now Tuesday and it's about... 5 12 a.m so there's around four hours or a little bit less than four hours before the deadline i have around 300 words left to write yeah i'm excited to smash this out and see yeah if i can do it i still have a little bit of research to do and yeah i need to write all those words and then do a read through and then make fine edits so currently it is 6.49 and I have officially finished the first draft of everything. So right now I'm just going to read it over. I am 200 words over the word limit, so that's around 10%. So I will be penalized. I am going to go back and like cut down all the words and I'll see how it goes. Currently at a shopping center and I decided to come because I had to drop my cousin off at work and yeah, I'm now having breakfast um, just to treat myself a little bit and then I'm going to do a little bit of shopping to buy some pants and then I will go home. So I'm now back in my car about to go home. I went and got a shirt from Uniqlo. So I just got the shirt and I got my glasses fixed, had breakfast which was quite underwhelming i thought it was gonna be good because like that place has been there for a long time and like it was like really really average the coffee was bad but the omelet was okay i'm now gonna go home i'm gonna go um take a nap and then i'm gonna start doing studying for tomorrow a few inches later i've been awake since like 2 30 but i've just felt like shit so i'm just i've just been laying in bed but now i'm awake i'm just gonna have a little bit of vitamin c um, because I feel kind of bad, so I'm gonna get that. So right now, um, the plan is, so I need to finish all of my uh, social and developmental psych lectures and then I'll make, finalize all the notes, um, for tomorrow's exam. I need to finish all of them, do these few online modules, and hopefully get them all done by tomorrow morning. So I'm outside again, I'm just eating my lunch. I'm going to be doing a few lectures as I said, but I, I actually saw that I got a work related email and that is like very urgent, so I'm going to reply to that first. <laughs> I'm actually really really grateful that this week I got to take the week off of work and I can just focus on my studies. I'm really like I know that it's like a privilege to be able to do that because I know a lot of people who are working part-time they don't really get to just say take like two weeks off one week to study and one week to do their exams um, especially during busy season but I'm really glad that my work is very flexible and they're very accommodating, um, which I like really appreciate. It's just that sometimes because of the nature of the role and how like urgent some things are because it's like health related, I will still be like replying to some emails on my day off or like after hours. Um, just like a few, not like really intensely, just because people like it's urgent if they're coming to find me. But yeah, that's my rant and I'm gonna start doing my lectures now. So it is currently 12.55 on Tuesday night and I have finished my notes and lecture content and just revising. I'm just going to do a little bit of um, revision modules for now and then um, the practice exam. And then once that is done, I'm just going to fine tune some notes and I will go to bed and hopefully do a little bit more of studying tomorrow morning.
um, if I wake up early enough. Day three. So it's around 8.45 on a Wednesday morning and today is going to be a quite a long day. I have two exams and one for law and one for psych. And then after that, I have a dinner tonight. Right now, I have 15 minutes before one of my exam starts and then an hour before my other exam starts. But then the one that's starting in 15 minutes um, is open for the whole day and the one in an hour is time sensitive. So I'm just going to do that one first. But I'm just going to like have a look at a question. Yeah, that's kind of the agenda for today. Kind of a rough day today. There's no 9.30. I've actually spent the time just like getting ready and um, I looked over a little bit of notes and I like also took a chill just because I don't want to overload my brain or like strain my eyes because I know that like <laughs> sounds so stupid but in term two last year so when we had like all online I remember doing exams after like being on the computer for the entire like three hours in the morning and I just felt so sick like my eyes were like in pain and then I just didn't want to do it anymore. Anymore. So I didn't want that to happen, so I just like kind of took it really chill, but yeah. Now it's almost time to do my exam. So first exam is done for the day. It was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Actually no, I would say that was exactly what I expected it to be like. At the end of the day it is the finals and the assignment didn't really test a lot of content. So yeah, I kind of did expect it to be exactly the way it is. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's over. So now I'm going to do my second exam, which is a full day open book exam. But it, it is like a multiple choice. I had have the whole day to do 20 questions. So I think it's not going to be that bad. I'm just going to take a chill, like probably play some music and then just do a little bit of researching um, while doing the exam. She told me don't. So it's currently a little over 2.30 and I am finished with both my exams today um, for my law exam. I haven't submitted it yet, but I have like kind of went through my essays and answered every question with like enough time. Like I spent probably like two and a half or like three hours on it just because I was like really researching every single question and stuff. It was really fun. Like I learned a lot during that exam and I think that's like the purpose of it anyway. Like it was supposed to like just give you points and then make you learn. Right now I'm just gonna take a nap and then when I wake up, I'm gonna decide what to do. Currently it is 5.20 and I have woken up, but now I have decided to do a uh, reply to some work emails because I can see it piling up and some things are quite urgent. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, I'm just gonna do it and then write a note for the team and get those things done. It's your own. Always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come All the misery was necessary when what deep in love This I know, this I know Um, I'm like an avid overdresser <laughs> Only because I like wearing like nice clothes like and like my style is pretty much like properly like not too casual like smart casual kind of wear like that's kind of what i like wearing like obviously i wear my fair share of hoodies and just like sweats as well but like on a good day or something i like wearing colors and i also like being like a little bit more put together um but yeah i mean tonight it's not it's not that bad because i'm going to a nice restaurant like i'm going to cho san in Potts point if you like it's quite a popular japanese restaurant in sydney so if you have ever been um yes that's where i'll be going now i'm gonna go to meet my friend right now it is 6 10 and i've just been doing some work work i know that some people might think that it's really weird that i like voluntarily doing work on my like annual leave or like pto but i like just think that it's only responsible because like the line of work that we're in people are like waiting if like i stop they also stop so when i like stop working or i'm like taking time off obviously i can rely on my team to kind of like give them support and they can always call up the work company line and they will be support but because people that i work with often has psychosocial challenges um it's not really easy for them to just like pick up the phone and call and advocate for themselves and they usually like are only comfortable with talking to one person so since i had the time and i wasn't studying or anything or i wasn't really stressed anyway like i was just watching a youtube video and then doing it anyway so i um decided that i was gonna do that and yeah i've done it for i did it for around like 40 minutes an hour like it wasn't anything severe and like i'm still getting paid on my time off anyway so it's not like i'm doing free work Day four. So currently it is Thursday, it is 3.30pm and I have 
not started studying today. Um, I have been doing a little bit of admin work and everything um, and just chilling because yesterday was such a long day and I was really tired from it. Right now I'm just gonna do like a few lectures, um, final lectures for SATs and then I'm going to do a little practice questions and then I have dinner at 7.30 and I will be watching Doctor Strange later tonight and I'm so excited. <laughs> One eternity later. So I've just come back from my walk with my dog and um, yeah, I'm, right now it is currently 12.20 and again, I woke up kind of late today. Um, I have quite a bit to get through. I have to get out of the house by 5.30, 5.40 latest because um, I have to pick my cousin up and we have to go to dinner because my parents have now gone back to Hong Kong and um, we're kind of on our own now. So um, tonight we're going to go out for dinner, probably just somewhere nearby to eat. But right now I need to get through a lot of uh, studying today for tomorrow's exam. Um, obviously there's still tomorrow morning because the exam is at like 2pm. But yeah, regardless, I'm just going to try to do the most that I can today. So currently it is 12.15 and I'm finally home now. I went and picked up my cousin and then we went and ate dinner and we went to Eastwood and there was like a lot of traffic. So even though we left at 6, we got there at like 7.10. And yeah, we ate dinner and then we went back. We just kind of like sat around for a little bit. And now it's 12.15, I'm gonna do one practice exam and then I'm gonna go to bed and wake up early tomorrow and I'm gonna head over to Downing Square. Um, because I do have a really full on day tomorrow. I'm heading off to Downing Square. I'm gonna study in that library um, and do my exam there as well. And then I'm gonna run to rehearsals for my competition that I'm doing. I'm probably gonna leave the house around like 8.30, 9 a.m. and then get home like 12, 1, I don't know. <laughs> it's currently Saturday, 8.30. AM. I woke up at 8 today. I'm just like kind of eating breakfast, getting ready to get out of the house. I'm feeling quite good. I just need the exam to be over. Like, I can't wait for this term to be over. Like, I'm so tired and I'm so done with all the content that I've been doing. I think after this course, I don't have to do any more stats for the rest of the year. So, <laughs> I'm really excited. Even though I did like stats, it's just not the same. Like, doing content is just like, it just feels better. Um, whereas stats, like, there's like a lot more conceptually going on. It's 3.30 and I've just finished my last exam for the term. I'm like super excited, but I'm also like rushing to go to um, my rehearsal now. It's like a 10 minute walk um, and it starts at 3.30 and right now it is like 3.35. So I need to get there like really quickly. <laughs> the exam was like really hard, so I wasn't expecting that. Um, uh, I passed though, but yeah, not good enough. So I'm currently in rehearsals, um, it is like 5 something, I've already done my rehearsal so I'm just waiting um, until dinner and like the thing starts, it's quite, it's quite scary, everyone's like good, like everyone's like better than I expected, um, so I am a little nervous but honestly just keeping an open mind like whether or whatever happens, like let it be. <laughs> So it is currently 11 and we finally finished. I lost. <laughs> I got into top 8 
um, and um, yeah, it was good experience nonetheless. I will join more competitions in the future. I mean, it was like just good to sing like to people and like impress people that wasn't there for me. You know. Now I'm so super super hungry. I am going back home with Dennis. We are going to Macus to get a drink. And then we'll go home and I have my last time waiting for me. <laughs> I am going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching my um, finals week video. Um, yeah, I'll be posting more. <laughs>